we kept the exact same footprint for the house, but then now when you walk in, all your public space is in the front. There, I love that. It's really that. nice and open. Yeah. And then we windowed the heck out yeah. of the place. Sure. It was so dark. Yeah, it's very bright in here. Oh, this is so awesome. Oh, I love this sink and the backsplash. Yeah. Before there was a small bathroom off the kitchen, but we figured it made more sense to make this all kitchen space. Look at all the cabinets, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, all that storage up there. That's great. That's perfect. And you've got pantry oh, here. Oh, nice. Oh, I like that. So it's not a huge footprint, mm -hmm. but I think we've packed in a lot of storage for yeah. what you have here. Absolutely. The openness is really beautiful. You want to head to the back and check that out? Yeah. Let's do it. So we've got a little guest half bath here. Oh, perfect. I love the tall ceilings all yeah. throughout the property, too. Mm -hmm. And pretty color in here, too, mm -hmm. for a bathroom, you know? It's soft. All right, well, we've got one of two master options we can check out now. Okay. First of two options as en suites. Oh, right. this is this awesome. This is a cute room. So it's nice, just kind of tucked in the back of the house, a little yes. private. Got this lovely little loft oh, at the top of the what stairs. A space. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is fabulous. It's perfect for our daughter when she's just playing on the ground with all her blocks and toys. And I mean, this is a great study area. This is absolutely beautiful. And the colors in here, again, just gorgeous. So we like to bring something a little bit old back into every house. Oh, cool. And so I went into Karen's corner, and I dug out some old corbels. And there's another one over there that matches, and made these little side tables that just sit on the wall. They turned out great. It's beautiful. Yeah. I feel like we should show them the, what is this, this? Is the probably, second bedroom. Yeah, this is probably what you would have as your guest bedroom office. Okay. So this is. You're really whatever you want to use it for, room. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is great. This is a great room. Before, the old house had this slanted roof line up here, but we wanted to make it much taller, so this room had much more functional space. I love the floors. What, what are those? These are actually laminate. They make really good laminate options now. And we went with a wider plank on these, too, because I think it makes it, it, makes it feel less busy, mm -hmm. a little bit more open. I agree. <laughs> So do you want to see your master? Uh, we do. Let's check it out. This is your master. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is perfect. It's a okay. king size bed. It yeah. Is. Yeah, and there's still plenty of room. Got a nice little sitting area. Yeah. yeah. And do you see your view? You can right. see oh my the entire, you can see the football stadium right there. Yeah. The, like, right downtown, that's the center of it. We also did manage to salvage the original staircase. We had oh, to wow. replace some of the spindles. Almost okay. all of the spindles. Almost all the spindles. But it's that same curve and it's the same drama. Oh, definitely. I love that. And then I just went super girly and glam with the lights. Yeah. Because <laughs> why not? This looks so good. I, I love it. Well, you want to go yeah, to yeah, the, towards the dining room? So this oh, is wow. actually really fun because the yeah. wall that was right here, okay. there were pocket doors that someone had shoved into the walls mm. and closed into the wall. Closed them in. Yeah. But we made a dining room table out of that. Yeah. Oh, no kidding. Oh, yeah. my goodness. So this is your dining room table. That's so creative. This is the area that was kitchen-esque. terrible. But no longer kitchen-esque. Dining room and kitchen okay. is at the back. Oh, wow. This space, we mm -hmm. would go through a hole in a wall. But we were able to put the kitchen into this place and have a nice side door at it so you get lots of natural light. Absolutely. We decided to do white uppers on this side of the kitchen because the pop of white draws your eye to this back wall and really pulls you into the space. The backsplash is, is real. I love that. I love just the tone of it. Okay, this is fantastic. I wanted to mix and match the countertops and mom suggested butcher block. It worked out well. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I think it warms it up. Yeah. 
We've got a first floor master, okay. so let me take you back there. Yeah, let's take a look. This is perfect. Yeah? yeah. Yep. I just love the way that this is roomy and cozy. Yeah, so when absolutely. we started digging into the demo mm -hmm. back here, we discovered these beautiful vaulted yes. ceilings oh that goodness. we were able to keep, which was huge because yes. it makes all the world a difference, them vaulting up like that. Yep. All right, well, we've got oh. upstairs to check out. Awesome. And then a whole nother third floor. Nice, let's check it so. out. A whole nother third floor? A whole nother floor. <laughs> a whole nother floor, okay. So we were Great. able to keep the original staircase, like Mom said, this was all this was a wall. Great. You kind of walked up into a wall, so we opened yeah. the whole thing up. Oh, wow. We were able to give you like a second little living area, loft space, chill space. Yeah, I think the way that this space specifically is laid out, to entertain, to chat with your There's friends. There's a really good amount of public space yes. compared to bedrooms. Yes, and that's exactly, that is what I'm in the market for, and the, that this is really hitting the nail on the head for that. Perfect. All right, so we had the loft, and then the back section of this was two bedrooms and a bathroom, but in a really, really weird configuration. Sure. So hopefully it make a little more sense now. So this is one of the two bedrooms okay. on the second floor. This is great. This is the perfect size for a second bedroom. Yeah. It's good. Really perfect. like, I like this a lot. Awesome. Well, let's take a look at the third floor. Goodness, this is. How do you look right now? Too. I think this is my favorite part of the whole house. This is this is wonderful. So we got this huge area up here now that we were able to finish out. Bonus space, game room, bar area, kind of whatever you want to do. The, the space, ceilings the up here, ceilings incredible. are huge. I don't think I really have the words. This is beyond what I would have imagined when we were coming up here. When we first got a hold of this side. Uh, the living room and dining room-ish areas were separated by a wall kind of in the middle there. So we completely took that out. Because of open concept, people Absolutely. like to entertain yep. and have that space. Absolutely. It makes it feel a lot bigger. You can see the staircase rail, which is the original. So that kind of like pulls you in and yeah. through. I have to tell you the story about this piece on the wall behind you. That was found in the house, Albert von Tilzer. And he was a very successful composer. It's an original piece of music signed by the artist. Talk about history. I know, right? But she's very excited that she finally found it's real treasure. real treasure. Does this so, come with the house? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's still it. debating, right? Yeah. She's like, do you? Uh, I don't know. Let's go check out the dining room. Really good sized dining room. You can actually fit more chairs around here if you want it, but these ones are really cool. Got ya. Does this foyer run all the way throughout? All the way. I'm looking at this like, wow. The kitchen is separate, but there's additional seating in the kitchen so sure. people can yeah. gather in there and be out here. This is where the kitchen was in the original house, but in a much more disjointed layout. Yeah. It's pretty, <laughs> like it's gorgeous. So we've got the gunmetal appliances, because we wanted to go a little bit edgier over here. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. definitely a look that you don't see a whole lot. I so. love the blue there. When we were doing the demo, there was this vanity with no top in the upstairs bathroom. And this was Mina's idea, was to put butcher block laminate on top, paint it a fun color, and now you oh, have a kitchen awesome. island. And this is the first little hint that all the plumbing fixtures are this gold color in the whole house. I know! It's my happy place. I'm glad it looks like it's your happy place. I'm going to have to get two houses because I don't know if I want to live here with my son. <laughs> I just you want it guys, all to myself. They can play out back. You just keep oh, them outside. Look at this area. Well, let's show you the out back. So this is where the kids hang out. Whatever he wants to do. He is a soccer maniac. You got it's enough like this room. house was made for you. Yeah. Everything Perfect. is just, yeah. You yeah. just said it. Do you want to go see the bedrooms then? I would love to see the bedrooms. I feel like I've seen everything already. No, no, there's Man. more. There's, there's but more. Wait, oh. there's more. <laughs> so this is your master bath. Oh wow! Oh wow!
We can each have our own sink. Yes. Yes. This. this is what we need. Yes. yes. Vanities. Absolutely love it. And again, the fixtures. Yes. Yep. Right now, I can't even think about my kids. Yeah. I love the golden yeah. faucets. Check out the bedroom. Oh, this is a great size. Yeah, it is. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, I love it. The first thing I noticed was how long the windows are and how lit it is in here. I feel like when I wake up in the morning and the windows are open, I will wake up. So we have a good sized closet, but we ended up with a weird shape in it because of an HVAC duct run. So we made a little shoe carousel. Oh, nice. Yeah, I feel like you might have some shoes at home. I, I feel might like you have might. a few pairs. Yeah. Do you want to go tough. look at the second bedroom? Yes, please. All right, let's go. Oh, how cozy. Oh, wow. Yeah, this would be perfect for guests. Oh, yeah, definitely. We got really good feedback. I think everyone felt like it felt like a home. Yeah, I like the view out there. Mm -hmm. I can picture it now. Yeah. 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 That's awesome. Oh, my god. It's so, so pretty. When you first walked in, this was a wall here, a wall there. So it was like a separate room, a separate room. So opening up that really made like that it's open here. a big difference. Oh my gosh, this to die for. Wow, I love this. This is beautiful. Wine cellar. How cool is that? It came out really well. Yeah. And then this piano was yeah. actually in the house. Oh my gosh. Took all the parts out, and then mom put it back together as a bar. Oh, so it man. still has all the strings. It still makes music. So that was the one thing that was in the house. And then. That the, is not the one thing. Well, of note. That is one of the things. Yes, of note. there were two things of in note. In fact, right now you're standing where the other thing of note was. There's an actual snake there, a live snake. I am not kidding you. <gasps> it's creeping me out. Oh, look, it's moving. Have we gotten rid of the snakes? <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, it's good, good. Yes. You like a house without snakes. Been through every you know? corner of the house, no snakes. <laughs> so we had our friend Beth make a snake painting for That's us. That's so cool. Kind of an That's homage great. to that. Yeah. And then oh. these cabinet tops are floor joists out of the house. Gorgeous. A little rustic, a little sheet. Yeah. Wow, this is fantastic. Like, this is yeah. right up my alley. Let's go and do the kitchen. <laughs> wow, this is so pretty. I love this countertop. This is nice. It's marble. I love how open it is, and I've we've always wanted a kitchen where you can see the other things going on, and yeah. that's the one thing that we really want. Mm -hmm. and up in the front, if you want to go this way, we've got more like formal dining space. Oh. oh, my gosh, it's huge in here, too. Yeah. Wow, this, this is gorgeous. All right, let's go upstairs and check out guest room and master bedroom. So this is the oh, so first cute. of three bedrooms. Oh, I love really this nice. one. New windows, like lots of natural light. Got a really good sized closet. Over here where the bookshelf is, you could even do like a built-in desk. Yeah. Uh -huh. I love the colors. All right, you want to see the next one? Yes, please. So this is your guest bedroom. Ooh. Cozy, lots of natural light. We got a queen size bed in here, and you still got room for side tables and a dresser. Oh my gosh, this is great. Ooh. So this is the shared bath for these this. two bedrooms. He, he said, ooh, and she said, ooh. ooh. I love this thing. This is very cool. That's great. All right, do you guys want to see your master bedroom? Yes. All right. Head that way, Mom. So this is your master. Oh, it's huge. Look at the ceiling. <laughs> Space back here actually was much lower ceilings. So this whole roof section got rebuilt and raised up. And I think it, I mean, it makes it feel so much I bigger. I love the feeling here. It's so cool. And the light fixtures over there. 